this is part two from uh, the search on the questions do audio capacitors have a certain sound and I want to test it with a frequency analyzer that's here and this is the setup uh, this is a generator it works on 1.3 kilohertz approximately it can send out a square wave or a triangle wave first the output goes through this uh, potentiometer to set the level and here you see all kinds of 10 nanofarad capacitors an oil capacitor, a paper capacitor and with tar, silvered mica capacitor, foil, high, high voltage capacitor, uh, a mylar capacitor, mylar, and a ceramic multilayer capacitor and a very small ceramic capacitor. You can see them here on the board. This is a one transistor audio amplifier, it was also in my earlier video. And the output from the amplifier goes to the frequency analyzer. So I put in a square wave, but we have to take in account that this part of the circuit, this uh, capacitor and this resistor, forms a differentiator circuit and that means that the square wave is changed into this square wave, into this wave. It's not a square wave, it has a sort of peak. You can see it here, jumps a little bit up and down. But the good thing from the square wave, or this wave, is that it has a lot of harmonics. So it's 1.2 um, kilohertz. But there are also a lot of harmonics, and you can see them on the frequency analyzer. They go up to approximately 10 kilohertz. These are the harmonics from the 1.3 square wave, more or less square wave. I put on the audio now, and you can hear it, what the sound is. And now I'm going to test all these capacitors. I do it without sound. At first what you see now is this capacitor on the screen, this capacitor, the very small uh, ceramic capacitor. It has this, uh, these harmonics are present with this capacitor. And you can see that they weaken up to the higher frequencies. The second test is the blue multi-layer capacitor. This is the blue multi-layer capacitor. And when the pointer is at the end, I switch to the mylar capacitor. This is the mylar capacitor. I let it run for a while at the end. This is the mylar capacitor. You can also see this is the waveform. Still the mylar capacitor. We now go to the um, high voltage foil capacitor made for 2000 volts peak. This is the high voltage capacitor. It's this one. And as far as I could see there are totally no differences between the strengths of the harmonics that are present in the signal. In a, a second test I want to do it all with a noise signal the same test. This was still the uh, high voltage capacitor. Now we go to the silvered mica capacitor, silver mica. 
still exactly the same harmonics at the same strengths. And now we go to the paper capacitor, the tar capacitor. I switch it on now. <laughs> 